Hi there guys, Coach here at TrainComplete.com. This is the second video on testing my fitness. If you haven't seen the first one, go check it out. I was testing my athleticism and my strength. Today I'm gonna do health, mobility and cardio. So I was doing my resting heart rate test. It's really simple and boring. I'm not gonna bore you with it. You have to lay down for 5-10 minutes to lower your, your heart rate. And I was checking it manually by uh, uh, counting my pulse for one minute and by um, a heart rate monitor as well. They both were pretty accurate, around 33, 34, I'm um, sorry, 43, 44. So let's say an average, I'm gonna go 45 resting heart rate. And now I'm gonna do body fat and my cardio, and after I'm gonna do the movement. So come with me. Okay, for testing your body fat, you will need a tape measure. Of course, if you have a balance with uh, like a weight scale, when it's it's kind of testing your uh, body fat as well, just stick to that. But always do it on that scale, on that spot, on those days. Don't use different machine because the results gonna be different. Uh, I'm gonna do this one, which is the closest which you can do manual at home. It's it's kind of accurate. Uh, it's gonna give you a good idea of where you at roughly uh, on my website there is a range that's why you have a range because you know it's it's not always the best accurate but it's give you a good idea how where is your body fat percentage I was testing it before works pretty well we're gonna do three point it's easy the more points you do the more accurate that but I'm gonna do a seven point uh, test we're only gonna do a three placement is gonna be on the chest on the abs and then one on the time. You need to pinch the skin as much as you can from here and then you have to measure the fold of your skin. So for that and then you, once you get your numbers you're gonna put it, I'm gonna write it down and we're gonna go and put it into a calculator and see my body fat. So from here I'm gonna pinch right there and I'm gonna check it's around 15, 15 millimeters. So I'm gonna put this in. On the belly, you need to grab the, the fat is plate. So just next to the belly button, you grab it, check the fold. It's 22 millimeters. And then we tie, go there, check the fold as well. Yeah, roughly 22. So once you get those numbers, we're gonna go into the application, which uh, I provide a link on the body fat percentage test, and you put those numbers in, and the calculator is gonna give you the body fat, which I'm gonna do later. From now. I've got my resting heart rate, my body fat, so I can see my health level. That's done. I'm gonna test uh, my cardio now, which is gonna be the step test. So I'm gonna use this stepper. I'm gonna need this now to break this up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this stepper for three minutes, step up and down. Rhythm on the clock. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I'm gonna do this for three minutes and then I'm gonna sit down, check my heart rate. I'm gonna use the heart rate monitor and manually as well. So how you do manually, you just sit down, find your pulse, get a stopwatch for one minute, count how many times you feel your pulse, and that's gonna be your uh, cardio level. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna speed this up because I don't want you to watch me do this for three minutes, but I'll see you at the end. I'm gonna switch my heart rate monitor on, so it's gonna be accurate, and I'll just need a timer. 
and I see you after three minutes. I'm gonna check my heart rate for one minute. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. And time. I'm gonna sit down, find my pulse. Sixty-two, sixty-three. Yeah, the same says on the amp. Not sure if you can see it. Yeah, I stood up at 63, 64. Just good, pretty good, I'm happy with that. Didn't think I'm gonna have a problem with that. So, that's done. I'm gonna mark this down, 63. And it's done. Okay, next test, I'm gonna do the jumping jack test. So for this, you have to do jumping jacks as long as you can, but the upper limit is three minutes. So you don't have to do more than three minutes. See if you can do three minutes or not. So the goal here is if you can do it for one minute, it's 1.2 minutes too, and then over, anything over three minutes is four points in my scale. So if you can do three minutes jumping jack, your cardio is good. So you don't have a problem with that. Let's see if I can do it. I think I'll be fine, but we'll see about it, right? So I'm gonna speed this up again because three minutes watching me doing jumping jacks is pretty boring, but I've gotta do it. Do it with me, put some good music on, and I'll see you in three minutes. Hopefully I can make three minutes. And time. Whew. I did legs yesterday, so started to kick in, but three minutes. All done. Whew. Nice. Wasn't too bad. A bit boring. So I think this turn. That's good. Three minutes. Resting heart rate for the fun. Okay. And now I only have mobility to do. Very quick and easy. So for that. I'm gonna fail on this. I'm gonna start with the overhead squat. You have to have a rod, anything, kind of like a stick. I'm gonna use this bamboo stick, but you can use your um, a mop stick, you just screw it off and then do the same. So you have to put it in your hip crease, extend your arm, grab the stick wherever you're gonna go. That's gonna be your overhead position. And then from there, keep the rod pointing up all the time and then wide legs and then you're gonna go down as far as you can, keeping the rod nice and straight. And then I'm gonna do three squats and then it should be fine. You're gonna get reduced points if you cannot go deep or your arm goes forward. So you're doing this, you have to be here straight up. It depends on your mobility of the ankle, but you should be able to go down to parallel and then come back up three times. 
try to keep the arm straight as well so you can do this and that's the overhead squat test it's easy if you have the mobility if not then this could be very very difficult okay for the wall angel you will need a wall go to the wall push everything nice and flat lower back upper back head elbows on the wall wrist on the wall and then you can make some angels right there so your goal is to push your wrist up on the wall okay that's the hardest part if you cannot touch it one point reduction depends how far you go you get you're gonna lose some points okay the first one for me where I'm gonna fail is the reach test you will need a again this little tape measure what you need to do is sit down keep your leg on the box and then you have to reach forward and then measuring how far you can reach over your toes that's gonna give you some points so 5, 10 is gonna be in centimeters so for me she is very tight reach somewhere there I got one fingertip very bad right so you got one fingertip which is around yeah where I top it's three centimeters it's almost zero on the good days I can do three on bad days it's even worse um, and this test is a lot of people is gonna struggle with so but it's something you need to work on I think the hamstring your glutes your lower back they're all working together to to do this test there are uh, flaws on this test because um, with genetic makeup your bone for example for me it's it's pulling my nerves it's feel like very nervous so if you have this kind of feeling like someone is like you know like trying to stab like a stabbing feeling or something like an electric shock that's probably a nerve so you don't want to stretch forward you want to ease up a little bit by bending your knee and then going a little bit more forward um, I can cheat on the test as well by coming up here and if I reach down you can see I'm significantly better if I'm up here and the gravity helps me to come down a little bit plus even if I can um, have some weight in my hand I'm gonna go deeper just because my muscles are tight but they can go further if, if someone helps to do that so it could be a weight or it could be the gravity pushing me down a little bit so uh, but I want to work on this I want to work on this I want to work on my flexibility depends the, especially my lower back um, some days I'm gonna be worse than this some days I'm gonna be better depends how warm my lower back is but I've got my numbers now now we're gonna go to my website put it in and let's see my fitness level shall we hey guys welcome to the table I got showered, relaxed a little bit, ate, and uh, now we're gonna put my numbers into the uh, spreadsheet and see where is my fitness level at the moment. So let's go to my website, traincomplete.com, start test your fitness, and we go to the train complete developing system, and then gonna start testing, see the numbers going up. So there are four levels bear, bull, tiger, gorilla and what we're gonna do we just go through all the tests see the results so uh, on push-ups I did uh, 50 and I'm gonna put this up on the screen so you can see it as well um, I did 50 so it's you only uh, anything over 45 it's four points so I got four points for that boom and then squat I did uh, 62 anything over 55 for males is gonna be four point good sit up so sit up I did 42 anything over 45 is 4 so I'm um, just the edge of 
uh, level three. So that's on level uh, three point over there. On Wallinger, I got five point of contact. So I'm gonna get for, what's Wallinger? Yeah, four point for that. And overhead squat, I've got everything nailed out. So I've got four point for that. Bang. Okay, sit and reach is gonna be tricky. I'll change some numbers here because uh, those numbers was way too far that nobody could do that. So I broke down a little bit. So for males, it's anything under minus five centimeter, which means you cannot reach your toe basically, uh, is one point. And then anything between minus four and two centimeters, so just over your toe, you're gonna two point. And anything from three to ten or three to nine centimeter is gonna be three point and anything over ten it's four point so I had around uh, what is the I think I was three centimeters so I'm just the edge of the three lower end of the three so I need to improve a lot if I want to be able to go to level four but hey that's three point over there it's not level four sorry it's three point uh, resting heart rate anything under 50 is good my was as 45 so I've got four points for that uh, body fat percentage okay I changed this a little bit because those numbers was way too high compared to what I was predicting so I redid it and my tape measure was was bad so uh, you need to pay attention in millimeters centimeters so imperial numbers and um, um, I think is it Brian? Yeah, whatever you know, standard. And uh, so I read it, and then my chest was eight millimeters, fifteen and fifteen on abdominal and thighs. So went to the calculator, which I can show you here. Is um, so you put kilogram, male, age as thirty-three, weight. 82 was well, a guesstimate, I guess I'm 82 now. And then I put chest 8 millimeter, 15, 15, and it's gonna calculate it down here, which comes down around 12%. I think that's pretty close. I'm happy with that. Um, which uh, 12, so 12% 12 on that. Maybe a little more, but I'll give the benefit for 12 millimeter, uh, 12 percent. So anything from 6 to 13 is four point. So even if it's 13, uh, so if it was one percent up, I still in four point. But I still want to lose two kilos, so I'm gonna give myself four point. But even if it's three, it's at the low end of the three. So if it's a 14%, if it's 2% up, which is like two kilos, uh, then then um, then I'm still lower than three. So it's, it's, it won't be hard to go down from there. Um, step data, I get 63, anything below 80 is good. So let me know if these numbers are too high and if it's too easy, I can bring down the numbers a little bit because for, for me, it was it was very, very easy to reach level four, but we'll see how you're doing. Uh, jumping jacks, this was easy as well. I don't want to change this. I want to have like an easy test to do. So uh, I did over three minutes with ease. So I'm going to get uh, four point for that. And burpee, I did 15 exactly. I don't know how I'm gonna do 16. I was, it was, I don't know how I can do faster than that. Cause if I jump higher, I lose a lot of time. So I don't want to do that. Uh, so I need to figure out a way to to go over 15. So it's, it's tricky. So I think it's on 15. I might bring anything over 15 is is good here, but I don't know how I'm gonna do 16. So. I guess I'm level three or a three point for that. I'll try to improve. If I can, I'm gonna bring it down, the numbers down to fifteen. I don't know if I can do 
one burpee less than two seconds we'll see if i can improve this month uh vertical jump was 45 anything over 50 is four points so i'm gonna go three points for that uh and the quadrant rate was 80 which is again it's like very very high end of the level three anything over three, three is four but i'm gonna give myself three point uh where is it quadrant <laughs> Uh, yeah, three points. And now we're gonna go to the spreadsheet. And yeah, so let's go through. Uh, body fat, four points. Uh, resting heart rate, four points. Sit and reach, three points. Uh, three. Uh, wall in jail, four. Oh, I squat, four. Step. Four, that's four burpee um, what was it burpee I gave three points vertical jump three point square three point push up I got level four sit up level three squat and then squat four okay so according to this I'm on tiger level so to be able to reach gorilla I need to improve sit up that's must to improve and then all the athleticism I need to bring up to four which is gonna be very hard uh, I think square I just have to do an extra jump that's gonna be easy vertical jump and I need to improve five centimeter and burpee I have to get an extra burpee on that so oh sit and reach yeah I don't think it's gonna improve in one month so if I can bring these up at least one of them two of them three of them yeah I have to improve all athleticism to slap into next gorilla level so that was it hope you enjoyed i'm gonna start training and then in four weeks time let's see what's up hopefully i improved and i'll see you in a testing table in a month's time hey do it with me if you like this content give it a thumb up if you want to do it with me drop it in the comment uh maybe we can connect communicate i can help you to bring up level i'm gonna upload videos how i'm gonna improve these uh these abilities and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to be notified. Catch you in the next one. Train complete. Train complete.